A French president, Francois Hollande, is coming under pressure as the economy continues to struggle. GDP actually shrank in the last quarter, and the jobless rate in France is now at a 15-year high. Hollande's latest reforms have been slammed by the country's powerful unions. They accuse him of breaking his election pledges. CCTV's Kate Parkinson has the story. In France, the unions have power. While only 8% of French workers are union members, one of the weakest memberships in Europe, the French unions wield enormous political clout over the national economy. And they're currently at odds with French President Francois Hollande over his so-called responsibility pact, which promises tax breaks to employers if they take on more staff. This responsibility pact is nothing other than a social compromise, so it is social democratic. I have not been won over by liberalism, quite the contrary. It is the state that is taking the initiative and is making sure that we can enforce our productive pact. Labour unions oppose the initiative, saying it will mean cuts to social spending, and they don't trust employers to create jobs in return. Hollande, they say, is turning his back on his election pledges. You cannot carry out a campaign as he did, saying that wages, employment, social security, the future of industry and maintaining public services will be his central concerns and then pursue a policy which is exactly the opposite of what he was elected for. Winning support for far-reaching economic reforms has never been easy in France, and like many a president before him, Francois Hollande is finding it's the disproportionate power of the French unions that is his biggest challenge. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Paris.